All right, there you go. Hey there, love to hear. Welcome back to Black Ops 3 Zombies. Today's challenge, we're doing a speed run for Juggernaug on every single map besides the Zombie Chronicle maps. Uh, Jug is over here, I believe. Yep, perfect. Now, I have done this once before on Black Ops 2. That was pretty fun. So, I wanted to do it on Black Ops 3. We don't really do challenges on this map. Well, not map, but like game itself. Besides, like, you know, the custom zombie maps. So, I wanted to do something new and decided, you know what? Let's grab something from Black Ops 2 that we've done. Throw it into Black Ops 3 and was like, that would be pretty fun. Now, I will mention, I do know I could have shot the Shadow Man, get like thousands of points, skip a couple rounds, but I didn't want to do that. I think that would make it too easy, and I want a challenge. I want a fun challenge. However, I will take the free 500 points. I don't care where I am. Free 500 points? Yes, please. Now, let us see what is inside door number one. Inside it is, please be, yes, double points. Whew. All right, let's open you up, and I guess use you. Now, I do believe it will be next round where I get the uh, Juggernaut, because I don't think this round will be possible. It could, but I don't think so. Ooh, that's a nuke. That's, uh, that's gonna throw a little bit of a wrench in our plans here. Open you up. Bada boom. There we go. Actually, you know what? We are pretty close. All we need is, like, one kill, and that should be it. Now, normally when I do this, I do, like, a little prediction, like, oh, this map will be the fastest or shortest. I think the fastest will be Revelations, and the longest would be... Hmm, I'm thinking Zetsubo. Zetsubo sounds like it would be the longest map. Although, Dreisendrock could possibly be a challenge. But uh, that's perfect. We got exactly enough for a drug. And stop. There you go. Uh, 2 minutes, 32 seconds. Not bad. All right, let's move on to the next map. But uh, yeah, I think Dreisendrock... Uh, Dreisendrock, wow, I can't speak. Would be the, uh, would be the most kind of tedious besides Zetsubo or Gora. Gora would also be tedious, but I'm thinking the Rise and Drop would be a little bit more because there's like more doors to go through. Ah, I remember when the Giant was first released. Everybody was losing their mind. It was like beautiful, very beautiful, but we're not here for that. We're here to speed run Juggernaug and there you go. Let's see. Where is it? Where is it? Please be over here. Please, please, please. Ah, oh, I think that's double. No, quick revive. Where would it be? I'm guessing Bowie Knife area. I'm guessing around there. But let me know what you guys think will be like the fastest map and the uh, longest map. Because I'm still thinking Zetsubo would be the longest and the shortest would be uh, Revelations. I will be honest. I'm certain I would have gotten like a good time for Shadows of Evil if I did the whole like Shadow Man method. But again, I didn't. I don't want it to be too easy. Oh, by the way, obviously there will not be any gobble gums. That would make it way too easy as well. So no gobble gums, no shadow man, none of that stuff. And I think that's pretty much it as far as like round skipping and points go. Because I don't think any other map really has that feature besides shadows. Ooh, we got another nuke. All right, we're going to kind of leave this area, see where we're going. I'm going to buy the RK5. RK5 would be beautiful right now. And let us see. We got Speed Cola. Okay, okay. Looking promising, looking promising. Uh, continue downwards through here. And let us see what's behind this door after we turn on the power. We got... Uh, can't really see it. Meal kick, it looks like. Okay, not not exactly what we wanted. So what that hopefully means is that Juggernaut should be over there. Where it's like normally supposed to be on, uh, Dur not Dur and Drag, uh, Doris. Because I don't think I'm missing any other areas, am I? Because speeds is right there. Oh, wait, hang on. Okay, that's double tap. Okay, it is where it's supposed to be. I completely forgot about this area where double tap normally is. I just, I don't know why, it just blanked out of my mind. Whew, we're already at almost four minutes. That's uh, not a good time. Not a good time. Oh, I'm not waiting for you to get all the way over here. I'm shooting you right now. Okay, get some free points here. Where's this zombie at? You over here? You over here. There he, oh, there he there we go. Okay, I was about to say, come on. And let me get you, and that is time. All right, four minutes, 32 seconds. Wow, two-minute difference. Could have could have been a lot better, but you know what? That's all right. All right, off to the next map. Third eyes and drunk. Boom, there we go. Man, it has been a little while since I've been on this map. Uh, let me see. I think it would be probably smart to go through this door overall. And like usual, we just get some kills here and there. I think the RK5 would be another good option for this map. This might take a little while, but I don't think it should be that bad overall. I'm gonna call it a tram, though. Ah, we got the insta-kill. Perfect. It would have been really funny, though, if I got, like, Reagan first try here. Actually, I've had it happen to me, like, 
two, three times before. But it's like really rare, you know? Ooh, Max ammo. Take you. And let me buy you. And let's get out of here and turn on power. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. It feels very weird not focusing on a dragon. Because usually that's what I always do. But uh, don't need to do it. Do not need to do it. Man, I love the RK5. Just super useful. Like pretty much just one burst. Boom. Or kind of missed some of my shots there. But still, just beautiful beautiful gun okay i have to ask what is your guys's favorite bow personally me it's the wolf bow i've always loved wolves and i think it's just i think it's a pretty solid bow overall i do know a lot of people would say lightning bow but i do think there are some like strong contenders here you know we got the uh we got the fire bow pretty solid against the panzers so so on the zombies not the greatest not the worst um i do know the void bow it's not a lot of people's favorite personally not mine but it can pack a punch, I'm not gonna lie. It can pack a wallop. Although I do remember when the uh, game first released, a lot of people were crashing because of the fact that like, it summoned so many entities and it's just crash, crash, crash. Uh, I remember a lot of the zombies community getting so upset about it. All right, let's turn on the power. And let's see, we need Juggernaut, which should be downstairs. You know, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of miss the days before, like, the whole Mr. T, Lexify, and Noah J456, and all that stuff happened. Because it was really cool being in the Zombies community, but then just... It kind of just went downhill, man. I'm not gonna lie. Thankfully, I still got, like, Mr. Raffle Waffles, uh, Coding Pizza. They're pretty cool guys, from what I can tell. And stop! Uh, 5 minutes, 11 seconds. Not good, not good. But yeah, like I was saying, those two are like pretty much the only two zombie tubers I trust will not do anything wrong. Anyway, we gotta move on to the next map, Zetsubo no Shima. Ah, Zetsubo no Shima. One of the, uh, one of the most laggiest and glitchiest maps that came out for Black Ops 3. Now let's see, if I remember correctly, Jug could be on either side, either there or here. I'm gonna go this direction, though. Oh, that's right, it comes by play on, like, round two. Okay, never mind. Guess we can't go this direction yet. Honestly, you know what I'm gonna say right now? Looking back at it, Zitsubo no Shima, it's not that bad of a map. It's not a great map. Don't get me wrong, it's not a great map. It's not even a good map for me, personally. What's an okay map? I will say, though, I really, really hate those thrashers, man. They are so damn annoying. All right, come on. Please give me Juggernaut. Where is the plane? Over there. Uh, I think it spawns right here. Maybe. Oh, no, I can't. I can't remember. I'm gonna go this direction, though, just to take a look-see. Ooh, we got Quick Revive. Not exactly what I need. Not exactly what I need. Oh, wait, does Juggernaut spawn inside the bunker area? Oh, I so hope not. I so hope not. That's... Hmm, I think it might have a chance to do so. Especially on, like, solo. You know what? We're gonna find out. We're gonna find out. I'm gonna kind of save up some points here just so that way I don't, uh, don't run out here soon. You know, I think it's really crazy to me that Codename Pizza was able to beat the Horn Terror, like, Zetsubo no Shima Easter Egg without killing a single zombie. Like, I'm not gonna lie. That is very impressive. I will admit, though, some of the things are very cool with this map. Like, the whole, like, what do you say? The whole growing the plant system. Being able to just clone yourself, basically, or get free perks. Oh my god, that is so cool, you know? I will say, though, I do remember this being a massive death barrier for a lot of people. That little, like, weird section you just go down through. I don't know exactly what to call that, like, pipe tunnel thing, but I remember a lot of people dying there. Whew, gonna need some ammo here soon. And by soon, I mean pretty much right now. Uh, let's go... Mm, not the KRM. Let's just buy some more, uh, RK5 ammo and then just head back out to the other area all right open up this door pour in some water and let's go to the bunker hello mr hitler i'm here to kill you no 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 no! please oh god it's a thrasher who wins to kill oh no we killed it before it turned into your thrasher perfect oh we got there on the power no okay haha i opened up the right door i was hoping this was gonna be power oh yeah i unclogged this stuff that's mm, okay okay let's unclog the webs there we go. Whew, thank God I chose to buy some more ammo, because I'm not going to lie, I'm running a bit out right now. All right, I think it would probably be wise to throw a grenade and then get some oxygen. Great. Oh, God. Ooh, that was a little too close for my liking. Okay, are we clogged or unclogged now? Yes, we are. Perfect. Thank you. I'm out. Swim, swim, swim. Hurry. Uh, uh, oh. All right, there we go. Power is on. 
And yeah. All right. Once more, I'm going to buy some ammo. I don't want to like just rely on the MR6 because that will that will get me killed. Although I think next round will be spiders. Ugh, I hate spiders. You know what? Just to be safe because I think the spiders will kind of mess me up. I'm going to buy a quick revive. All right. Regardless, either this round or next, we should be getting some sweet juggernog. Thankfully, it's not a spider round. However, I probably should have saved my points. Oh, well. Safety over, uh, safety over the whole, like, risk of reward type of thing, you know? Okay, probably gonna go down here soon, I'm not gonna lie. Because they are getting a bit too close for my liking. Ah, oh, we just need a few hundred more points. Alright, pistol time. I mean, we've been using pistol this whole entire time by me starting pistol time. Okay, we got enough, we got enough. Just run on through. Okay, bye, 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 and stop. Alright, uh, 10 minutes, 28 seconds, yep. Kind of, kind of where I thought it was going to be, not going to lie. But finally, we can get off this map and go to a pretty good one. Go to Karovi. Boom. And here we are into the streets of Stalingrad. I will be honest, I think Gora Krovi has my most favorite Easter egg song with Dead Ended. It is just beautiful. It's a masterpiece. I will be honest, I am a little upset that it took so long to come to Spotify. Like, it should have been their day one, not gonna lie. But I am thankful it did come out, I think, earlier this year, if I remember correctly. Could have been this year or last, but I'm fairly certain, fairly certain it was this year. But I will be honest, I think Gora Krovi has a soft spot in my heart here because of the fact that it's like Nikolai's map and he's always been my favorite out of like all the zombies crews. And like, it was such a twist when we found out that like all his wives were not real like they were just drunken fantasies basically or not even fantasies just delusions uh, all right gotta run past jug however 300 points and just gotta keep on going ah uh, you know what i am remembering back then and i'm glad they changed this back then gobble gums were like at one location and one location only and it was like the mystery box where it like kind of went to different areas where you could actually access it from. And I'm glad Treyarch changed it because, ooh, that would have been a nightmare on this map. And like all the other maps too. And I think the other thing they did very well was like each round you got a chance to get the gobble gum for free every single round. That was also really nice because like, man, it is such a lifesaver just buying it for free. Or I guess at that point, you're not buying it for free. You're getting it for free. All right gonna turn on the power and it should be just a few stabs away and we got jug 300 points or not oh you can't prone here huh weird all right come on we're almost there almost there just a few more kills one more shot should do it nope okay just missed like half my bullets there we go and oh god oh christ this might be a little bad might be a little bad we're gonna play this smart gonna play this smart just train them around train them around we're not gonna call them what they used to be called back in like 2011 oh crap oh no 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 no! get out here get out here come on come on uh, oh this is not good it's not good squeeze through <gasps> how do we do that how do we do that nope gang joke don't care and bam there we go five minutes 25 seconds not bad could have done better not gonna lie but that will do it for this map and last but not least we shall move on to revelations ah here we are at monty's perfect world totally nothing wrong i mean look at that that's a cute little dog right there hello puppy anyway uh gonna get some points from here and we go to the little weird ultra thingy you know i remember when this map first came out and everybody was like looking for the last bone and it was so stupid because you had to shoot a specific part of a wall in the derison rock area and it's like really really anyway i'm gonna be pretty cool about this i'm not gonna get a single kill with these guys come on please don't let me die I'm trying to be cool. Yes, there you go. I always love trying to do that on the first round because it's just so easy. You don't have to worry about anything else. All right, we're going straight through. Going to go straight to Noct because I need to get some jug. Let me buy this thing, get some free points, and just kind of wait it out a little bit. Ooh, max ammo. That is going to be kind of useful, not going to lie. Especially the fact that it's round two. We can get a lot of points with that. Ooh, are we going to be shadows? I just realized we're at like 211. I don't think so. I don't think so. I think shadows will beat uh, revelations. Wow. Oh, no. It's getting real down. Neck and neck, neck and neck. Oh, no. Definitely not. Definitely not. We're messing it. Oh, man. I thought revelations was going to be the uh, fastest but i guess not all right all right you know what no shame no shame in being second and bam there we go 243 not bad not bad 
Man, I really thought, I really thought Revelations was going to be the fastest. All right, we are done tallying up all the scores here. So let's get started with our rankings. At sixth place, we have Zetsubo Noshima at 10 minutes and 28 seconds. Not the worst, but it could have been a lot better. At our number five spot, we have Gorakurovi at five minutes and 25 seconds, basically cutting our time from Zetsubo in half. At our lovely number four spot, we have Thereisendrak with five minutes and 11 seconds. I think we could have done a lot better, but you know what? I think it's still pretty good. All right, coming in third place, we have the Giant at 4 minutes and 32 seconds. Now, I think this one could have done a little bit better uh, if we had, like, better spawns for Juggernaut. But overall, not that bad, in my opinion. I think 4 minutes, 32 seconds, pretty solid. We could probably shade it down to, like, 4 minutes, maybe even, like, 3 minutes, 45 seconds. But I don't think we can get, like, any lower than that. Now, coming in at total shock for second place is Revelations at 2 minutes and 43 seconds. I'm going to be honest, I really thought this one was going to be a blowout compared to the rest of the maps. But I guess not. We barely missed it out for our number one spot. And, of course, we got in it off with our number one map here for 2 minutes, 32 seconds, Shadows of Evil. Now, I'm not going to lie, this map completely surprised me with it being in first place. I thought it would be top three, but not first. And I think that's because we got a lot of luck on our side when it came to that map just easy kills not so many doors to open and just overall it was a very very good rng however i do believe we could have gotten a little bit luckier on some parts maybe like double points here and there that would have helped out a lot but overall we did pretty good and i think that was a really good run for shadows now, if you guys are curious, the average time was about 5 minutes and 8 seconds. And I do know majority of that was because of Zetsubo no Shima. Um, and it also added to our total time it took between all the maps to get jugged to 30 minutes and 51 seconds. And I think, you know, if we had Zetsubo go down just a little bit more, we probably could have gotten a better average in total time. But overall... I think that was really fun. It was really intriguing to see, you know, how many maps we could get in like under four minutes, how many were like under two minutes. Well, none of them were under two minutes, but under three minutes at least. But yeah, before I end off this episode, I do want to say I would love for you guys to like recommend me some new maps or like some new challenges. That would be super awesome of you guys because I'm getting a little getting a little burnt out up here. And if you guys try this challenge yourself, please let me know your times, average time, total time, whatever you want to like kind of recommend me. Just anything like that or like tips and tricks like, hey, you could have done this, you could have done that. Anything like that whatsoever. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So if you guys still like the video, please like, comment, subscribe. And without the way, this has been Lifter20, signing out. Bye-bye.